We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock-solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Standing in, Alex Verdugo. And we are set for baseball here this evening. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind 1 and 2. Not the warmest night you'll see around here, and even 50 degrees at game time. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Mm, just low with the slider there. That's ball three. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Slider strike three called as the leadoff man is set down looking to open up the ball game. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate, then darts back at the corner at the last second. Locked him up completely with that one. So now to the plate, Rafael Devers. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. In now, J.D. Martinez. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. Sox zero, Yankees coming up. You're watching MLB Network. Martin Perez gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, lefty Martin Perez, not an overpowering guy. Sneaky quick, 92 to 93 miles an hour. Good hard slurve. His changeup is a good pitch. Not overpowering, but one thing I like that he does, and you'll know early on if he's pitching well, he's not afraid to come inside with the fastball to right-handed hitters. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. The three one. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Batting second. The first base man. Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. Lifetime against Martin Perez. Batting at an even 400. He also has one home run. Ready with the one and one. Hits this one hard the other way. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. 
Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Into the box now, Aaron Hicks fouled off. Again, another foul ball. Here's another one, two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. Batting four. The designated hitter. Win. So first and third with one away. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Clint Frazier. He's set, and the one-two pitch. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Hey, you tip your hat to the batter for finding a way to find some green grass out there. But, man, that has to frustrate you, Dan. An executed pitch right there. It, it does. Anytime you make a good pitch and off the bat, it certainly didn't look like it was going to fall in for a base hit. You make a good pitch, but you don't necessarily always get the kind of results you want as a pitcher. At the plate, Labor Torres into the corner and slicing foul. Voigt over at second. Frazier at first, one gone. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Pretty standard pitch sequence right there. Just how you draw it up in a perfect that world. Jump ahead 0-2, and, and then you toss a change up in the dirt to get him to chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. Hold the string on him there as this is popped up. Back behind second. Chavis has it, and the side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Here's the pitch. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Hey, D. Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. High and deep to right. Racing back, the right fielder. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. And with it, the Red Sox have tied it at one. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, is not the end of the world. Standing in now, Christian Vasquez. 
swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Tuckman is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the That's inning. Hit. The second baseman, Michael Chavis. So here's Michael Chavis now. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Bases are empty, one man out. A little bit outside, two and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. It's a swing and a high pop up. Voigt has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. At the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. Bradley Jr. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now a curveball here. Nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The three one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Batting it. The first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Coming to the plate now, Bobby Dahlbeck. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Red Sox get a run on the solo shot by the X-Man, Xander Bogarts. On to the bottom of inning number two, all even at one apiece. Stepping up now, Gary Sanchez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One one. Outside, that's the ball. Two and two. Hey boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Drilled right back up the middle, and that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. At the plate now, Brett Gardner in the dirt. And now let's see. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. A runner at second, nobody out. In there, and it's full three and two. Three and two. him up Vasquez is under it one away the third base a man at second with one down and striding into the plate it'll be Miguel and Duhar 
Now the three and two pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Here's the 2 1 home. Hit the other way out toward right field. After it is Verdugo, he gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. In now, Luke Voigt. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's now a two-to-one ball game. Now back. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. In now, Aaron Hicks. Can't find his own there, and it's three and one. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a three-run shot to left center, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. like he might just work out of that inning only giving up a single run but it all comes crashing down on that mistake nothing like a three run bomb to change the entire complexion of your day on the mound into the box now Clint Frazier drilled on the ground is short Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. But four runs score in the inning, three coming right here on the three-run home run. We've played two. It's 5-1 Yanks. And here's Jose Peraza as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Hard hit ball to second. LeMayhew's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Striding in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. One out, nobody on. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. A dive, and he knocks it down. Throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. Into the box, Rafael Devers. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Uh, 
Bounded softly down the line toward first. Foul. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Another 1-2 delivery. And this one gets away. And that's going to wipe away the possibility of a double play as the runner moves into second. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with, but there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up free bases. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as the offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And this will be fouled away. The payoff pitch one more time. Ronnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Now back. Man at second here with two away. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. The 1-1 one, one is looked at for ball number two. Two balls, one strike. Three and one to Martinez. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. So it's first and second with two men gone. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Two balls and a strike to count. Oh, and he turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. So a three run shot to left center is second of the game as they pull within one here. It's now a five four game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. So now to the plate, Christian Vasquez. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Three runs already home here. And it's fouled away. Fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. He is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. But the Red Sox push across three on the strength of a three run home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's the Yankees five and the Red Sox four. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing it, simply putting the ball in play. We looked into the numbers, and as a team, they've had a contact rate of over 85% in this game, meaning that when they swing the bat, they're missing the ball less than 15% of the time. To put that into context, the very best teams in baseball usually are right around 80% for an entire season. 
So at least for today, they're just playing an amazing ability to put Wood to ball. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Now the one and one pitch. It is swung on and missed for strike number two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is the left fielder. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. So a solo shot here to left center field, and it's now 6-4. to four. in now Mike Talkman and he takes ball two and it's two and one now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone the three one hit sharply on the ground to the left and that finds its way through for a base hit At the plate, Gary Sanchez. One and two now as that one's fouled off. A runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. In now, Brett Gardner. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Runner at first here, one man out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fouled off. And another foul ball. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Fouled away. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Popped him up. Vasquez over to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now Digging in to try it again, Miguel Andujar. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Two out with the man at first. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. to two balls and two strikes now. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Here now the 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. 
payoff pitch one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We played three full at 6 4 New York. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off the inning, Michael Chavis, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Okay. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat and that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Into the box now, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Four runs, only three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Bobby Dahlbeck, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. The first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Into the box, Bobby Dahlbeck. Pitch popped up. Boyd over to his right. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Fair to say, oh my goodness, uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Hit high in the air down the line, and a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Man, I feel for him, but you've got to call a spade a spade, right? He's really struggling. The sample size is three-plus innings, and in that time, he's given up eight hits, so it might be time to cut your losses and make a change out there. So now to the plate, Luke Voigt saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air, and he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. Now better. Better Trying to pick things up Aaron. where we left off. Aaron Hicks. He had that big three-run homer in his last appearance. Six runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Rip down the first baseline. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hits all they get. We played four full. The Yankees lead it six to four. 
New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Jose Peraza. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. A bouncer up the middle. LeMayhew's got it, and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Back to the top of the order now, and that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Standing in now, Rafael Devers. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Hit hard to the right. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Sanchez is after it, and that ends the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Score remains steady at six to four. Marcus Walden, a right hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Marcus Walden. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and striding forward, the designated hitter, Clint Frazier. Two and two now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Peraza, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center now for the first down. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Yeah, he was really frustrated and out of rhythm in this one. Unfortunately, I'm sure he's frustrated right now, and he will be for a while. But the good news is that the guys are still in the game. The offense is picking him up. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Now the 2-1. Misses off the plate. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Popped him up. Vasquez is there. Two down. Now better. Ready for another chance. Mike Talkman. He's one for two in the ball game. Two out, nobody on. Hit down the line at first. And this will be a foul ball as the first baseman makes a Herculean effort to make the stop. Easy to cha cha. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. Now batter, the catcher. 
Now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. One for two on his line so far in the game. Working for the punch out and the offering. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Yanks leave one. They're up six to four. Sox DH JD Martinez he's set to lead us off in the sixth inning the 1 1 home line towards center field Hicks has to roam straight back but he has it for the first down. Boy, sometimes they say you hit it hard, good things will happen. Well, that's not the case right there. That was a bullet that just stayed up and is caught in the outfield. Xander Bogarts will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Bases are empty, one man out. And right into the shift, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Looking for his tenth strikeout. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Stepping in now, Christian Vasquez. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. The 3 2 pitch. Here's a fly ball well hit. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail it here 6 to 4. of the sixth inning now and standing in is the veteran outfielder Brett Gardner the 1 1 he's outside for a ball the 2 1 there's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. A solo shot here to left and it's now seven to four. One of the narratives of today's game has been driven by the long ball. We've seen these squads go deep a combined five times in this one. Matty V, this is turning into home run derby part two. Dero, five bombs already in this one. Yeah, there's a fight at the bat rack for both teams right here. A lot of mislocations right out over the heart of the plate, and neither side is missing. This is on the ground over to first. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. 
Now back, second baseman. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. DJ LeMayhew. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. 3-1 pitch is a slider, and he can't pull the trigger. It's 3-2 and two now. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Line toward right center. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. When you drive the ball into the gap like that, nothing but good things can happen. Neither one of the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to it, and he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. Aaron Hicks will stand in as we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this key three-run home run. set here comes the 1 1 starts to go around here but it doesn't matter this is strike two anyway looked like the cut fastball there and he got him to swing through it for the second out now battle Stepping in and ready for another Clint. shot Clint Frazier it was a fly out for him in his last trip And with first base open, it looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order and two men gone. Now batter. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres, one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. The 1-1. One, one. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. The 6 7 8 hitters coming up to start the seventh. It's now a 7 4 ball game. Chad Green is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 57, Chad Green. Seventh inning ready to roll, and Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. The one two. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Next for the Red Sox. One man is the out in the Red Sox seventh. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter Jackie Bradley Jr. Ready with the one and two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Down the third baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now here's the pitch. 
He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Great spot on that 2-2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. In now, Bobby Dahlbeck. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a 7-4 score. Stepping in, Mike Talkman. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now batter. The catcher. Gary. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. This ball is hammered to deep center field. Ranging back is Bradley. Gone off the center field windows. A two-run home run off the bat of Gary Sanchez. As this is now a five-run cushion. Dinger number six on the day between these two lineups. I feel like I'm watching home run derby here, guys. Dan, I can only speak from my own past experiences. When the flags are blowing out, you want as many at-bats as you can, and that's exactly what's happening. This ball's jumping at you. You know, d row this is always a nightmare for a pitcher. Not only is this a good hitting ballpark, but the wind blows out on top of it. This is the last place you want to be a pitcher at. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Brett Gardner will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. He misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now batting, third baseman, Miguel. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Nobody out, runner on first. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Springs. Playing here in his age 26 season. He was taken in the 30th round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. And there he goes towards second. Looped out towards short. So well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Now a throw behind the runner, and it's in time to get him. And that, folks, is the danger of the hit and run. Now at the plate, D.J. LeMayhew. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Two out, nobody on.
line drive to center field. That gets down and the inning continues. Bottom of the seventh inning will go at least one plate appearance deeper after the two out hit. Hey, <laughs> Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. This is foul right side. Got him swinging in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. Seven complete here tonight. It's the Yankees nine and the Red Sox four. Jonathan Holder has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 56. Jonathan. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in the outfielder, Jose Peraza. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Two balls and a strike now. The 2 1 home is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Here's the 2 2. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Fouled away. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Hicks comes on now and he has it one down. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate, Alex Verdugo. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One out, nobody on. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The 2 2. Hit back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump. Now but that, this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Into the box now, Rafael Devers. Chopper foul. Proves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Hicks back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Now Coming to the plate now, J.D. Martinez. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did it. And all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. The bouncer to the left side. Andahar brings it in. Throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Yankees nine and the Red Sox four. Ryan Brazier is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 70. Ryan Blazer. Aaron Hicks will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. 
Two one. Here it is. I got three. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Next for the Yankees, the designated hitter. So striding forward now, Clint Frazier. He's working on a one for three thus far. The three and one pitch. There's ball four. Perfect. Now batting. Not shortstop. Into the box now, Labor Torres. He's one for four for the game. Runners on first with one down. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And now time is called as a beach ball has made its way out into left field here. Two and two. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander is up and throwing. And it's fouled away. The two two one more time. over that one but a little out in front foul ball and he takes ball three so it's a full count now after multiple pitches were fouled off it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher so you think say I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it didn't happen they've locked horns here's the next offering And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The batter. The right field. Right. Digging in, Mike Talkman. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Right side. Speared on the dive to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Luis Sessa comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 85, Luis Sessa. So stepping in, Xander Bogarts. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. The one-two. Two ball. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been set a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode at the plate Christian Vasquez and he fouls this one off got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone 
no problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now to the plate, Michael Chavis. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Strike three. Good night, Boston. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. New York get the win on the heels of four home runs. Garrett Cole takes home the win. Martin Perez struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.